will tell you this. I will not be deterred by the Russians. President Biden today telling the nation the work to get Paul home isn't ending. This was not a choice of which American to bring home. We brought home Trevor Reed when we had a chance early this year. Sadly, for totally illegitimate reasons, Russia is treating Paul's case differently than Britney's. And while we have not yet succeeded in securing Paul's release, we are not giving up. Whelan requesting the president act fast. A message could go to President Biden that, um, you know, this is a precarious situation that needs to be resolved quickly. And um, I would hope that he and his administration would do everything they could to get me home, um, regardless of the price they might have to pay at this point. My bags are packed. I'm ready to go home. I just need an airplane to come and get me. Taking a look back in our history, I found prisoner exchanges predate the Revolutionary War. More recent deals include the 1962 negotiation to release U.S. pilot Francis Gary Powers for Russian master spy Rudolf Abel. The move came during the height of the Cold War. Powers had endured 107 days of interrogation and a public trial in Moscow and served two years in a Russian prison before that deal was reached. Another notable exchange includes what the New York Times calls the biggest spy swap in memory. In 1985, officials traded 25 people imprisoned in Poland and East Germany for four Eastern Europeans imprisoned in the U.S. for espionage. And in 2014, a U.S. intelligence agent who had been imprisoned in Cuba for nearly two decades was released in exchange for three Cuban spies that had been incarcerated for 13 years.